What's caused uh, anchoring to come back on our, our radar is the increasing number of players who have been moving to this sort of putting method in over the last couple of years. I mean, it's gone to a very small percentage of, of professional players, now up to 15, 16 percent, and growing. And that's what brought the subject back onto the radar. And the governing bodies, the United States Golf Association ourselves, have had to decide if this is the way they see the future of the game. Uh, is uh, anchoring the club and, and playing that way a proper golf stroke? And we've taken the view that it is not. Uh, we've announced that uh, we're minded to, uh, to prohibit anchored strokes, but we're giving a three-month period for interested parties in the game to, to give us some views. We think we've taken everything into account because obviously it's a subject that's been discussed for a long, long time. But uh, there's still an opportunity for people to make their views known. The method of stroke change, it's not an equipment rule change. We, this will fall into line with the usual quadrennial process of changes to the playing rules. And so the, the prohibition on anchored strokes will come into effect in uh, January 2016. So um, there's the best part of three years' notice here for, for people to, to adjust their, their method of play. Yeah, I think uh, my opinion would be that I don't think it's probably in the best interest of the game to ban the long putter and that... I think there are some more important issues that probably should uh, have time spent on them than putting.